Hey there, Brewberries, what's up, and welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky. Today, I'm actually in a space station that is uh, a little further away, um, but it's because I was just playing the game on my own, wanting to, uh, I also built these things, built the Scatter Blaster. Uh, I wanted to try out just playing the playing the game on my own basically i just wanted to to play it on my own explore and i've been expanding my inventory on the, our little backpack here for a bit did a couple of things with the some advancement made the hazmat gauntlet some small things that really aren't that like crazy important or anything like that and uh i found something that i wanted to show and probably deal with uh, on, uh, on this, like, initial thing. So, uh, so, if I can find it, it's behind us. Well, all right, not what I wanted. Okay, so if we go behind us, there's an Atlas interface. I don't know what that means. So we're gonna go scan this uh, planet, see what's there. Star bulb, copper. So this, this thing. I have no concept of what this is. At all. And I don't really know if I should be entering, like getting near or not. Whoa. Oh yeah, and there's a freighter here that costs like five million or something like that. So we're gonna board this, I guess. I don't know what this is. We may very well just epically die. I really truly have no concept as to what this is. So this could be a very poor decision. It's a little freaky. Very triangular. Well, it's turning us around, so I feel better about that. So we have the option to leave. Uh, quite a big, big thing. What are you doing pulsating over there? Oh, nice stairs going down. The Atlas word for infinite. Wait, hold on. Is this like are all these like knowledge things? This stuff? Ooh. Wait, is that glass down there? It is! Oh, okay. Well, let's just go learn all these words. Oh, life support system. There we go. I'm getting used to getting more used to that, which is great. The uh, whole quick charging and stuff. Any more words up here? And eh, there might be some. Interesting. Uh, I don't really know what to think about this. Let's uh, learn as many things as possible. I don't know if we're still learning stuff from these or not. They're not really doing anything now. But we might as well check them all out. Oh. Is that because I approached it? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to figure out what in the world this is about. Uh, uh. Not a fan. Search. Got a warp cell. Two warp cells. Okay. Unity of causal f atlas interface. Interesting. 
interesting. Wolf or Coo, Traveler. The Atlas called me called me to this interface, and yet its purpose remains unclear. It demands worship. It demands obedience. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. Ask me to follow its path. Accept milestone pathfinder or above. Um, I'm guessing this would not be. Oh, you let us accept it. The sky is deep and full of wonders, and the path of enlightenment opens me. Captured nanode, atlas seed containing zonally shifted quasi stellar substrate warning. Do not allow matrix to commune with this dimensional space. Uh, okay, I don't have any clue what just happened. I really want to go and poke that thing, but I guess not. Guess I can't. Well, uh, uh, I get, that was not nearly as exciting as I thought it was. It was all super deep and dark and creepy. So I thought we would be getting into like some crazy thing. And it's still creepy, but also this very loud to get out of here. Ah, well, all right then. Um, so the planets here, wherever they might be, and there's one right around. I'm starting to get used to how to star bulb, copper. Uh, doesn't say anything about bad guys. Grassy planet. Let's go here. I want to see what Ralph looks like. I this this name is awesome. This is not your standard planet. This is not quasi X Ion VI 14. This is just simply Ralph. And I'm assuming then somebody else named it if it's named Ralph. If not, that's hilarious. Well, we found a building right here. So it's a pretty warm planet. It's raining. Oh, it's because it's like in the middle of like an acid rain. Oh, there's a building over here. Let's go to it. Oh good, it's one of these dumb things. I swear, those things never have anything in them. And, oh, it's, there's a stupid tentacle. You jerk. Oh gosh, it's so, so warm here. Take all this. Ah, it's because I complained, I bet. Oh, this is literally the planet Ralph that we discovered. Dude, this planet's awesome. It's just like a grassy planet. That's awesome. Oh, I like this. They have real trees. So, paraffinium deposit, which is great. A jettison pod, buried technology module. Well, sweet. I, I'm gonna explore this planet just a little bit, see if we can find any cool places, because if this is like, a pretty planet. I can I could easily see myself wanting to just like live on a planet like this where it's not like anything crazy, but it's like it's nice, it's pleasant. Well, looky what we found. We found a crashed freighter. Let's go ahead and park our bad boy right here. And now I also know I should definitely scan to find all these different things. So we've got a cargo pod there. We've got a buried cache cargo pod. And then if we keep looking around, I'm sure there'll be even more. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna spend some time here. Let's see what this has. Read the log. Life goes on day after day, delivering after. I hope to go home soon. The life of a is not for a like. Oh. Pirate's life is not for me. Multiple central energy signatures detected, requiring immediate dropping out of warp. There, there's the sentinels. What are they doing? Fighting each other. The sentinel ships are engaging each other, ignoring us for now. They appear to have departed. Distress signal nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. I'm going to take a look. I love this planet's name. We are on Ralph. Oh, we got lots of uh, units. Get out of here with your radiation. Oh, we're still getting it. Oh, interesting. There's one down here. What did I get? A flexible upgrade circuit compatible with all personal multi-tools. Module can be wired into a multi-tool at a space station, granting the user more space. Dude, that's awesome. Because our multi-tool already has a crap ton of space. Dude, that's so cool. I have so many freaking weapons on this one. Probably wasn't good that I put them, but I can always uninstall, I suppose. Now, y'all mentioned that there are six of these things. So we did one, two, three. And so what is this called? A cargo pod? There's a buried cache. Cargo pod right there. Okay. All right. So this is what you're meaning when it comes to paying attention <laughs> to the things. Nice. So that means I would assume at least that that means we got everything. Also, this planet is pretty fun. It's got like some nice anim like a little animation things going on and stuff. There was a, an, a building right there. It's 485 away. I'm kind of curious if there's a hit. This is a hill that we're getting over or what? Yeah, I really like this planet. It's very fun. Very grassy. Uh, I can't take this. We'll just get rid of it. Well, this is a cool little building. Whoa, I like this building. I don't know why. It kind of makes me feel like it's like a greenhouse or something. Orvax transmission tower, but it's a geck. Bleeping noise can be heard. This is also new, this whole screen. Garbled distress call can be heard amongst it all alongside screams and the tearing of metal. The only thing that's clear to me is a brief number sequence cracking its code could lead me to the crash site. Oh, it's going to be another ship. Two times two is four times three is 12 times four is 48 times five is 240 times six is 1440. Confound it all. Wait, is that a different freighter? That may be a different freighter. I don't know if that was a, oh, I can search this plant. Can I search you? No, wait, there's a chair. Huh. These doors are kind of cool. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we definitely didn't come from this direct, that direction, I don't think. So I think this is a different crash site. Oh, yeah, it is. It is definitely different. Wait, no, I'm an idiot. This is the this is the one we were just at. But the good news is, whoa! Don't you make me hit that. Good news is that's not the one it's pointing to. There is another one. Woo! Whoa! There's water on this planet, like an ocean. Ooh, we could build like on this island. Look how perfectly circular this island is. What the heck? This island's perfect in terms of being circular. And then there's another one. We could build like a bridge across them. Ooh, I may have to put our base there just cause it'll be so easy to build. Like it'll be so flat and simple. We'll have to come back and set up a set up a computer and a teleporter and stuff there. 
Hello, other crashed freighter. Dive into a black hole. I know we agreed not to. I warned them about it. Advisability of such a large vessel moving through the rift, but they are arrogant, vain creatures, are they not? We merge into the to the skies above the anomaly. Reality itself has abdicated here. Vast hexagons litter the landscape of this once proud planet, now becoming the the plaything of our unseen foe. I fear I will not be back home for time. We drank the water, my love. Forgive me. Okay, don't drink the water. I have learned that. All right, we didn't really get too much from that one. And we got, I guess we got a couple hundred thousand units. So not bad. We're over five million now, which is great. Very good. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's go check out this sentient plant. Those things eat gravitino balls. That's an expensive diet. Uh, okay, what gun do I have out? Okay, we're gonna keep this guy out, mainly because I don't know. Uh! Oh. Sentient plants. Whoa. Why was that ship landing? We're definitely gonna grab more. I don't know what that was. Gemstone formed over the course of centuries within the egg of a super incubator incubatory species highly ornamental these gems are themselves living seeds can be sold at the galactic trade terminal you'll have to let me know what this is if it's purely just for trading Ooh, why are you still here bro may have to cheese these guys and grab as many as we can really fast let's get them open Just go on a rampage of grabbing them. Y'all are kind of creepy, you know that? Okay, they're gonna attack us pretty much like right quick. So we're gonna have to get in there and get out. Holy balls. They immediately called the dogs on me. That was crazy. I'm gonna let them chill. What are these beams over here? All right, cool. We got quite a few of these guys, actually. So we've got six there. And I managed to put 10 here. So yeah, I'm not going to sell them outright because I don't know if they are something we should be like really hanging on to. But if they are, then let me know. If not, then I can sell. 
Ah, here's our circular islands. Okay, let's go to this one that's like smack in the middle. This. This is where we're going to at least do a temporary, if anything, a, a temporary base because I love the thought of this. Island living? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Sure, there's like acid rain on this planet, but it doesn't last that long. Look at how flat it is. I don't have to do anything here. Kind of dull in terms of the grass and stuff. But this side ain't. Oh, yeah. Maybe the other one's better. This is a pretty cool island. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's like raised up. A lot of rocks and stuff, but... I like this. This is actually kind of nice. Let's go with this guy. Let's plop this guy right here. Claim it! Yes. So much more interesting. Ooh, a Geo Bay. And we'll put our teleporter right here. Maybe we should put it on a floor. To the lava planet. Nearby object of interest detected. What in the frick is this? Please help friend. Pilot Jabbers have me excited to have made contact with another trader. Examine cargo manifest? The heck? Fungal mold. My dude, you don't have anything, my guy. I mean, I'll sell you some stuff. Uh, how about your ship is doing some crazy things? What is happening? Don't you run into me, you, you dingus. Trade link attendant run B. So he's a Gek trader. Can I grow this? Let's grab, I don't know, 10 of these guys. Received. 
That was such a weird interaction. Hey, gold nugget. Uh. Okay, now let's go to this lava planet, because it sounds kind of cool. Object, object of interest. Are you another traitor? Friend, please. The pilot prepares their trading system. What the? Why are all these people trying to trade with me? Hey, navigation data at a 33% thing. That's not bad. My guy, what's happening? Why are you, why are you being such a pain? I, I kind of want to buy this, but it's not that hard to come by and we already have so much, so I don't really know if I want to. Oh, I, I don't want to, don't, I don't need to buy anything. I want to break this down, but oh my gosh, what is your ship doing? Seriously. Take my eye on batteries. There you go. Like, what the heck? What is with <laughs> these people just like trying to trade with me? Whoa. This looks crazy. These trees are on fire. I'm assuming it's just really hot out there. External temper temperature is probably a bit toasty. Wall of flame. I'm just gonna get in the old ship. I have no idea what a wall of flame means. Is that a volcano? That's cool. All right, we're going to wait for this stupid fire to go away. Let's go check out that volcano. It's not really like exploding. Anomaly detected. Where? Oh, another one of those Atlas things. Cool. Well, I think this was a very successful, very fun episode. I found quite a bit. We have a fireplace, which is very nice. I love the fact that you can actually have a fireplace and I there's going to be lots of uh, lots of building in our future, I think, because I'm really actually quite pleased with this area. I really like the fact that we're on like this island and we're kind of like it's already flattened out and we can just kind of build. And I'm I'm really looking forward to that, making like a little settlement. I think that'll be quite fun. So I think this is a great place to leave off because we have done quite a bit and found quite a bit. Let me know about these album uh, pearls. I, it says a trade commodity, so I would imagine it's okay for me to just get rid of them. Uh, but we do have quite a few. So I would love to be able to figure it out what to do with these. Uh, also, let me know about the freighter. What type of freighter I should get. I know I'm, I'm this is coming. This video is being recorded prior to my video that talks about the freighter in the first place. Um, so understandable if you're going to tell me there, uh, but again, asking just because I want to make sure that we get a, a decent freighter. I, that's why I've been saving up moolah and all that. We did get a new ship as well, which is great. And I'm going to sell that guy because it doesn't really seem like that good of a ship. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to continuing to play this. So, uh, next episode, we're going to progress with the story. I think I'm going to work a little bit on the base area on my own time as well. Uh, but we'll definitely have an episode or two in the near future about building up our area because I really, really like the look of this place. I really think it's going to be cool. It's much nicer, much more nice, much nicer aesthetic uh, than our other place. And so with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like in real life, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Uh...
Bye-bye.